Hey, what is up guys, welcome back to the Super Ranked Podcast, the best Power Rangers slash Super Sentai podcast on the planet. I'm your host, Bryce, here with Big Bang Network, and yes, today is the day to where I do my interview with um, Trey Stevens, who wrote a Power Rangers, um, I guess, sequel script, I mean... This is no way confirming that this is the script that's going to be used for the sequel, but he did write a script, and um, he's kind of been trying to w- raise awareness from it, and he even got um, some attention from big big websites like uh, comicbook.com, and for unfortunately, due to uh, scheduling problems with me just being so busy and stuff, um, I was not able to work out getting into a call with him um however i i did ask him some questions on twitter so these are these are the questions i would have asked him anyway it's just i it's just scheduling issues i'm just so busy with acting stuff movie stuff you know i do all that kind of stuff so um yeah so let's get this started here um so my first question for Trey was, what were your thoughts on the Power Rangers movie? And I'm going to read this exact, nothing's going to be changed. I mean, of course, if he spelled a word wrong, I'm not going to pronounce it exactly how he spelled it. But um, yeah, um, so he, the question was, what are your thoughts on the Power Rangers movie? And he answered, my thoughts on the Power Rangers movie are mixed. I liked it, but I didn't. It's hard to explain, honestly. The film jumped tones, I felt. And when it came to the development of the characters, it seemed like they introduced one characteristic and then a scene or two later either dropped it or never used it again. I liked the bonfire scene when they had the heart-to-heart. When it came to Rita Repulsa, I wasn't really sold. I liked Elizabeth Banks, but I couldn't really see her as that character. It also seemed like she was adding and dropping the acts with Rita. I liked Brian Cranston and Zordon and the rest of the casting. Uh, a few big names and the rest small names really was smart. The introduction to the universe and the overall creation and reasoning of the power coins wasn't really there, or it wasn't even brought up. Krispy Kreme really pissed <laughs> me the hell off. It was so uh, blatant and was overkill. Uh, I mean, I to have the Zeo crystal under the Krispy Kreme was just silly. Also, I felt they could have really given more uh, of the Power Rangers cameos and ones and ones also. Um, <clears throat> Goldar's use made no sense. And, I mean, uh, he was ge- a general in Rita's army. I feel him being the Green Ranger Zord was just a poor use of the character. It felt the... Mo- it felt like the movie was just a mashup of The Breakfast Club and Power Rangers and Dash of Chronicle. They protected Krispy Kreme. The movie overall was 90s nostalgia cash in. That's how it felt. The movie didn't really stick with me. I felt if they really took the first three seasons of NPR and, and the Zordon era of Power Rangers as a framework, the movie would have been better if they chose Max Landis Max Landis's script. Now I haven't read his script so I don't really have an opinion on that, but it actually surprised me because um I didn't really think that he had a negative opinion on the movie. I mean, it's not he, he, the movie has problems. I I will agree. Um Krispy Kreme way too far. Um I liked Elizabeth Banks's Rita, so I thought that was okay. Goldar definitely was not right. Um not done right. He should have been he should have at least talked or something. I don't know. But um, I, I was actually surprised because um, with him making the sequel script, uh, I figured that he enjoyed the movie. But um, I guess uh, the reason why he uh, wrote the script, which is the next question, uh, I'm, I'm, it's probably to better improve on the story. So number two, what, what inspired you to write your script? What inspired me to write a script was in a commenting thread on a friend's status on Facebook, and I thought, why not do it? I wrote a few fan fictions in high school. The movie itself gave something to work with, for the most part, and I had to change some things. So yeah, he he wanted to uh, change, I guess, what he didn't like about the first one and uh, make a better story, and I, and I like that. That's uh, really awesome. 
So number three, what was it like to get attention from places like comicbook.com? Um, honestly, I didn't know I had attention like that until the night you, t I, I talked to you about the interview. Me and my friend Google my name and the script, uh, and the script name, and I saw an saw the article. I freaked out. It it feels good, feels really good because I've also gotten a few emails from people giving me feedback on it. And it's helping out a lot with the current re revision. So yeah, he is making a revision of the script. If you've read it, just to fix um, some of the typos and some of the story issues and stuff. Because of course, whenever you write a script, it's not going to be perfect the first time. I've wrote scripts before um, that will be talked about in a later date. But um, yeah, you never use the first draft ever. So yeah, every script gets its revisions. And I can't wait to read the revision of the uh, original script. So, number four, what are your thoughts on the TV show? Um, then he said, the overall series I still have love for, and when I catch an episode, I'll sit back and watch it, even if I don't know a thing about it. <laughs> I have the box sets of the season, so I'll watch those from time to time. Number five, what, what do you think about the future of, of Power Rangers? The TV show will honestly, I feel, will always be around. The movie franchise, I don't know. From what I've read, it just seems really bleak. Um, Judy Lynn, uh, or sorry, Ludy Lynn, just joined Aquaman, and the movie itself brought in 139 million or so, and the budget was like 100 million. So they didn't make that much of a pro pro profit. Prof it. I know Ham Saban. <laughs> he spelled it Ham Saban. <laughs> yeah, I got it. I got it. Ham Saban. <laughs> said that uh, he had uh, like a six film universe plan but that probably won't happen so yeah I think a uh, uh, spell check kind of got to him there but uh, I, I I should make that a meme ham Simone. you know what I'm no I'm getting too many I bad ideas now but um, yeah um I'm actually gonna make a video um about this here soon because I actually have a different opinion about how the movie's gonna go um I actually still think the movie has hope uh, well, I'll just say with the toy sales, uh, I th I think there's still a huge chance that this movie could still be successful. Then for the uh, sixth question, I asked what his favorite Power Rangers season uh, was, and to no surprise, he said my favorite season is probably in space. Um, it's pretty much most people's favorite season. Um, just because it was the end of the Zordon era and it had a pretty dark tone to it, as well as a good ending overall. But one of the first three seasons of Mighty Morphin, I'd have to say season one. Um, I'm I'm sorry, but out of the first three seasons of Mighty Morphin, uh, he said uh, season one. I kind of messed that up there, but um, yeah, that's the uh, questions I asked him before. Um, I didn't really ask too too much about a script because I knew he was making revisions to it, but um. I'm hoping uh, we can I can ask him some more questions at a later date, maybe even have him on the show because you know once I'm not as busy, then I'll I'll have some more free time to uh, get him on the show. So that'll be a, a lot more fun as well to have like a nice conversation with him. That'd be nice. So um yeah um uh, I guess if you guys have questions for him because I I do plan on asking him more questions at a later date as well, especially whenever his uh, new script comes out. Um, just put them in the comments, and then maybe I'll, I'll ask him some questions that you guys wanted to ask him. So, um, yeah, guys, thank you guys so much, watching, so much for watching the 50th episode of the Super Rangers podcast. I'm Bryce signing off from the Big Bay Network, and I'll catch you guys next time for some more Super Rangers podcast. That's right, I am adding some more episodes to the season two uh, season of the podcast. Um. You know, just because I feel like these videos do well enough and it's it'd be kind of a waste to uh, just uh, end it here and not have too much else to post. So, um, yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.